Welcome to the homestead. It's uh, Friday morning. We got Mario here. He's actually out in the camper actively typing away on the keyboard. So he's working on tracking and a couple other quirks he has in his software. So you can see we've kind of thrown a, a second Hawks Bay on the wall temporarily here. We have two different arrays set up. You saw the video of the 600 volt array. Um, that's going into this one. And then of course the house is going into this one. Uh, making really good progress. Um, he's got it working all the way up to 595 volts perfectly now and tracking all the way back down to I believe it's 115 or 150. I can't remember the low end. Um, so pretty cool. We'll, we'll try to get some video of Mario working but you can see now talking through the CAN bus um, I can actually look at the different uh, I can look at that one over there or I can go back and look at this one. So that's this one is H Bay Test 2, and the one to its right is Ryan's H Bay. So if I turn the knob, you'll see there's the one beside it, and there's this one. Menu structure is working pretty good. We can go in here, um, MPPT configuration. We select which charge controller we want to uh, manipulate. Like we can go into this one and uh, play with that charge controller over there instead, instead of this one. We can back out of there, but. You know, we'll make a lot of videos as we move forward on the actual uh, working of everything in the menu structure and how it all goes. But that's kind of it. You can see he's got more Hawks Bays here. Actually, UPS is supposed to be here today with the Barcelona. Um, we got the Barcelona, Mario was telling me, in the engineering lab. They're up to 200 amps out on the Barcelona, which is pretty cool. So we'll throw that over there. We'll run some 2-watt cables down temporarily. And we have, currently on this unit, we have two strings on the roof that come to this together and combine. So we'll run them separately. And he's going to be working this weekend on actually uh, making the two sides of the Barcelona track independently of each other. You know, so the Barcelona is actually a dual MPPT. And you can put one array on one side and a different array on the other, or a wind turbine or a hydro turbine on the other side if you want. Or you can parallel them together and make it one single 200 amp charge controller. But generally speaking, you'd be better off to keep them separate. And that way, if you get a shading issue or clouds, it'll track better. So that's one of the things he's going to be working on this weekend is getting the tracking, I mean, the two sides to track independently on the Barcelona and just squashing a couple more little bugs. So it looks like if everything goes right here, um, we've got to get with the engineering on the uh, display itself and display a few more things. But I think if everything goes right, we'll probably be shipping some beta units, hopefully, you know, in the next week or so, um, to off-site beta testers. So that would be really cool. Let's just kind of have a quick update. Uh, maybe we'll bring you back and shoot another little bit of this video when uh, Mario's out here playing around, so you can see what he's doing. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll bring you right back when Mario gets out here. All right, so we found Mario. He was in the camper sleeping. So he's out here working now. You'll see he's got them both going here. Um, got his computer behind him going. So we're going to let him go back to work and we're going to get up his hair. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.